Hello everyone, and welcome to my first solo Let's Play of Shovel Knight. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this by myself, <laughs> so I hope this goes well. Well, let's get started. Uh, ignoring that, ignoring that, ignoring that. Alright, new adventure. Um... Uh, no, no, uh... Zoro. <laughs> Even though he doesn't use a sword, he will fight for victory. <laughs> Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and the Shield Knight was gone forever. Well, not forever. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. He apparently took up a job as a ditch digger. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her order of no quarter. Ah, I see what I named it that. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Let's get started. Strike the earth. Let's go. All right, uh, as Shovel Knight, you use your shovel to dig things, flip things over, and you can do a downward strike too, just by holding down on the control stick. Simple controls, very complex game. Not too hard, not too hard to get though. You shovel stuff. Well, I mean, what more is there to it? Hmm. Uh, you use money for upgrades and stuff, so try and get as much as you can. Uh, I can't get that. Yep, yep. There we go. Hoop, hoop. Uh, first level, nice and easy. And uh, not too much to it. It's really just uh, look at the design of stuff and learn the mechanics. Uh, but uh, they do it without some. They do it without annoy annoying tutorial boxes. So uh, pretty impressive. Whoop. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Of course, now that I've started recording, I'm going to be playing horribly. So I hope none of you cringe too hard at my uh, playing skills or lack thereof. Uh, this game was developed by, uh, uh, Yacht Game? No, not Yacht Game. Uh, I'll let you know later. I, I forgot what it's called. Uh, this dragon guy? Uh, he's pretty easy if you just use the bouncing mechanic on his head. Because uh, the, the, uh, the bouncing strike will, uh, go infinitely. Ah! Another cool uh, feature with skeleton heads, uh, you can knock them into uh, enemies to destroy them. Digging, 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 digging. Watch out! And you can also break apart uh, secret stuff in the walls when you. Uh... It's not always indicated, so shovel every wall that you can reach. Yeah, at least ones that seem sensible that there'd be something hidden under there. Oh, 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 oh no, oops, uh, yeah, spikes are insta-death, uh, when you die, uh, it takes a percentage of the money that you have in your, um, the, the gold you have in your inventory, and it, uh, leaves them hanging in bags around where you died. Now, th th this usually works pretty all, 
pretty well, but occasionally your bags will be out of reach. Uh, but most of the time it's pretty fair. Uh, the only thing that uh, is annoying is sometimes these boss things respawn, or mini bosses respawn. Ooh, an apple. Apples heal life. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll try and get down there as quick as possible and save some time. I don't understand why the walls come back. Magic, dirt appearing walls. Ah. This enchantress has powers to cause dirt to reappear. Yeah, see, here are the bags. I just have to get them safely without dying. Come on. Oh yeah. Got it. Alright, let's see what's through here. Alright, a uh, shovel spot. Uh, some good money. And a music sheet. Uh, I'll let y'all know what that does later when we come across it. And sometimes you'll find a uh, little uh, tri uh, gold balls hanging on the wall. Real easy to get for the most part. But then again, this is only level one. Now, when you start doing your uh, downward shovel attack, it won't stop, really, unless uh, unless you uh, take a swipe with your... Uh... There we go. Okay, I didn't miss out. Yay. Kind of missed out on this, though. I killed that dragon without jumping for the uh, diamond. But that's how you pick that up if you want it. This thing's just full of money. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I'm boring anyone at home with my poor playing skills. It's been a while since I uh, picked this up. There we go. I've, uh... To be honest, I haven't really had much of a, um, much experience with, uh, retro-styled uh, 2D platformers. This was uh, really the only. This was really the first one that I had actually played all the way through. Aha! Got it. Just jump off the dragon there. Up, oh, bubble hopping. Hopefully, I'll make it. Yeah! Aha! And the second music sheet. Very nice. Whoop! Uh, gonna get it. Oh, there we go. Whew. Uh, oh. Well, I can live without one. Well, you know, I can still... Oh, no. Never mind. Ah, I'm out of here. It's just one green piece. It's not a big deal. Ouch. Give me that pink d gem, skelly... Mm, skelly tin. Aha! See? Secrets. Usually there's an indicator somewhere, but occasionally you just have to find them. And a uh, nice chest. Pull up some mm, great loot. Gonna need as much as I can get. Up and jump. jump. There we go. Ha! Hua! Ha! <laughs> Breaking the money. Ha! Uh, I don't think there's any secrets in this wall. Ready. Oh, oh no. Again, you gotta fight this dragon, but this time with the uh, added uh, danger of a pit. Pitfall right there. Oh, there went all. There went all the money. Oh well. Better than dying. My, uh, you risk so much when you lose uh, money when you die. Oh! Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Or in this case, uh. Talk about something that's worrying you in the game, and you will lose all your money. <laughs> Ugh. It's level one. My true skills at 2D platforming are showing out. Uh, to be fair, my first uh, when I started playing video games, I uh, it was uh, it was the N64. So, uh, so I don't I really don't have much experience with games like this.
But if I'm careful... And... Yeah. Okay. That's, uh... That's great. That's wonderful. I'm going to be the mockery of the internet. Well, maybe not the whole internet. Just the small portion of you. <laughs> uh, don't make fun of me too much. I'm not that great at video games. Despite, uh, I, I, I love video games, so don't get me wrong, I'm just... I, I'm not good at them. But, uh... I'll persevere! There we go. Alright, take two. It's a simple platforming challenge. Oh! There we go. Forgot to press up the, uh... Last time. <laughs> Embarrassing as that is. Alright. Like I said, you can stop your, um... Downward, uh... Strike momentum. If you swing with... Uh, before you hit the ground. It'll take you out of the, uh, drop... It'll take you out of the shovel drop animation. Alrighty, and up. Oh, just made it. Alrighty, now we could go right and continue with the level, or we can go left to this hidden area. Okay, just gotta be careful. And I will retrieve the goods. Very nice. Whew. Wink. Yeah, there we go. And jump. Jump. Alrighty. I'm doing better now. And another checkpoint. Oh! What do we got here? Ah, chicken. Full health. And I can't destroy that one. That's fine. Uh oh. Black Knight. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invisible knights, invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. All right, the first boss, uh, the Black Knight. He too uses a shovel like us. Ha! Your taunting will get you nowhere with us. Uh, oh! Oh no, he can downward strike too. Oh gosh! Ha, take that. I like with uh, bosses. I like to trap them. Uh. All right, I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. Ha! Got the double. There we go. Oh. One more hit and he's down. Ah! <laughs> Defeat uh, uh, victory is mine, Dark Knight. <laughs> da -da -da. Yeah. Love the music in this game. Very talented whoever made the soundtrack. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Alrighty, after a hard days of adventuring and beating my arrival, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a nice sleep. Excellent. Uh oh, what's going on here? Shield Knight. I seem to be. Oh, I seem to be dreaming. I must catch her. I'll catch you, Shield Knight. Yeah, caught her. <sighs> oh, must rouse myself. Ha! Huh! Remember, kids, always put out your fires. There might be money in them. First level victory. <laughs> All right, now we can go to the village. Let's let's see this village. Halt! No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, ah. ah. That's no weapon, it's just a shovel. Yeah, you can go in then. Don't forget. And don't forget. Press up to talk to everyone. <laughs> Cause no trouble, warrior. 
bag fellow. Turkeys, apples can turkeys and apples can restore your life. I just found this out, so I'm telling everyone. Huh. Oh, good that you found out. Villager, pick up the blue jars to restore your magic power. All right. What about you, music man? Hey, little traveler. I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. Oh. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. How the heck did you manage that? If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Oh, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Ooh. I'll take it. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found Strike the Earth. Ah, uh, ostinato trumpet tri triplets. Is, is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. Um, all right. Play me a song. Splendid, what would you like to hear? He said I got, um, Strike the Earth. Aha, travel the plains of passage as your adventure begins. Yeah. Uh, from this menu, you can play any of the music sheets that you've picked up. Like, and some of them are unlocked in ways that you wouldn't really think about. Like, some of these, like, I just got by showing up in the area, while others you find out in the field. Molly. Ooh, you got a pretty face. You should come visit often. Okay, Molly. Uh, uh, Molly, let me go. There we go. Gastronomer. Pottage and poultry, mutton and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Huh, he rhymed. Bring a meal ticket. I'll whip up a feast. Gotitian might have some. Now where's that silly lie beast? I take you're Gotitian. I, I hope you're Gotitian. Ah, he is Gotitian. Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or help? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Yeah, sure. Pay 1,000 uh, gold, he'll give you a meal ticket. And uh, this guy up here, stop freaking out. A meal ticket, hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and pardon the mess. He's cooking me up some grub. Look at that 8-bit skill. Or is it 16? Alright, when you uh, eat a meal made by this guy, your maximum life increases by 1. Now over here, the Magicist, she says, uh... Want more use out of your relics? Oh yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. I don't think she's as good at rhyming as the other guy. No relic shit. What? I can't... You have to find some relics. Chester down the ladder, he always has some. Alright, let's go see what Chester has. Uh, don't expect me to do a voice for everyone. Then I, just, I just tried that and I just realized how hard that is on my throat. What's up, Truple Acolyte? Hello, fish friend. All hail the Truple King. Hail! The King of the Fruit and Fish. Long may his stem grow. But uh, more importantly, let's buy a Truple Chalice. Excellent. What about you, Chester? You got something for me? Okay, he has the fishing rod and the chaos sphere. I'm gonna buy the fishing rod. It's not very useful as a uh, fighting item, as far as I know, but it is very useful as uh, for getting money. Let's see what these people have to say. Juice made. Ah, a new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone is welcome in here. Oh, what a nice place. What about you? Ooh, that Specter Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Hmm. Something to keep in mind. What about you? Deposed king. Oh, woe is me. The king of nothing. Not to rule but my lone bar stool. What's with everyone rhyming in this town? King Knight sits on... Pride Moore's throne, that gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a good friend. Grandma Swamp says, double trouble, soil, and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. The number of dig piles you've dug is seven. Oh. 
amount of gold, max gold I've collected is 6,020. And the number of times I've fallen is three. Well, I wouldn't say I fell in battle, more like I fell down a pit and on spikes. Thanks for helping me with that useless info. I am not a witch! You, you, uh, yeah, Shovel Knight. Being a bit on the, uh... Well, I'm not gonna say racist, but... Uh, stereotyping. Stereotyping. Yeah, that's a good word. Stereotyping. Alright, and she increases your maximum magic, which is the number of time you can use relics, like the fishing rod. <laughs> what do you have to say? Hedge farmer, are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. I demand it. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, incredible. You really are Shovel Knight. He is really happy about us being Shovel Knight. Pardon me, madam. Whoop. Alrighty, up here, as long as you jump up on that lady with the uh, water buckets, you can climb up here and get this uh, loot and uh, the uh, music sheet. That's 500 gold when I turn it in later. Grizzled Seer, Shovel Knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Alright. Well, I think this was good for uh, the first episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight. Um, I'm Eli, um, I guess this is the outro that I don't know how to do yet. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.